Welcome back to another Dollar Tree shop with me. This is going to be a long one filled with lots of goods. So keep on watching. Grab a snack. These little hair clips had glitter in them. I thought they were adorable. Okay, I found Family Size Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. These are actually really good. You wouldn't think they are, but they were delicious for a little snack. I also found the Frankenberry cereal, which I actually looked this up, and it's been around since like the 70s. It's actually really cool. So I got these for Nick, and he really liked them. So lots of fun fall cereals at Dollar Tree. I don't always find those, but it's exciting when you do. I found those only at one store. I found some fabric. This was really cool. I found the People Style Watch book. This is like another kind of rare find, but it was more like an older book, but still I thought the fashion <laughs> looked really nice. So very cute. I found the SGX Clean Slate Dry Shampoo. I've talked about this before. Um, this video is just like a compilation of literally like two months worth of shopping, you guys. So Sorry if this is like old news, but I want to show you guys everything I found. I'm going to start uploading these more frequently. I found some Conair bobby pins. They had long ones. They had shorter ones, different colors. Okay, Wet n Wild is blowing up at Dollar Tree. I found tons of the Mega Last lip colors. So this was in a coral shade. You guys will see throughout this video, I found so much wet and wild stuff which is beyond exciting so this was like a rosy tone and this was more like a kind of deeper mocha shade then this was really cool this is their keep going eyeshadow waterproof stick from their workout line which is definitely a newer line so i was shocked to see this i did pick this up it's like a champagne shimmery color one of my favorite finds i bought a backup the wet and wild um, lift your brow brightening pencil. This is great for not only lifting your eyebrow, but I wear it in my waterline. It is gorgeous. It is a dupe for the Benefit highbrow pencil. So if you see this, snag it. It is so good. It doesn't last forever on your waterline. You do have to reapply it, but the color is this beautiful light pink shade. I found this Wet n Wild purple eyeliner pencil. They also had it in like this regular cardboard packaging. The Wet n Wild blushes. I love these. Pearlescent pink is a classic shot, classic shade. I do already own this shade. I own like all of them, so I didn't pick up any of these, but I love apricot in the middle. Another beautiful shade. Actually, now I'm inspired to maybe wear this today. Beautiful, like a dirty peach shade with some shimmer in it. Okay, this was a really cool find and more of a rare find. The brown sugar lip scrub from Wet n Wild. So I love these lip scrubs. They're definitely a little more... um loose of a lip scrub but they work really well and it tastes good one another one of my favorite finds the pixie eye shadow stick pencil um this is called idle eyes love that color this was a great one too the wet n wild illuminati concealer i've been using this a ton recently you guys will see a video soon of me testing all these out i found these really neat eyebrow scissors they're nice because they have a comb that's attached to them this is a name brand find from Wilton and the Nerdy Nummies YouTube line. It's this mustache cookie cutter. This Dylan's Candy Bar color cups in like a rainbowy fun kind of shade. So if you like baking, these are cute. Okay, on to my next store. I found these adorable decorative doorknobs. I cannot believe all these amazing things they're coming out with. I feel like 2020 is when Dollar Tree really like started really stepping up their game and coming out with awesome stuff so like these are super cute especially for like a baby's room if you want to redo the knobs on a dresser these are absolutely adorable i found some of these like essential oil diffusers this one is in vanilla bean this i guess is more of like a christmasy item but this is great for like a closet and then they also had this one which was a cranberry this was one of my favorite finds ever, <laughs> the Revlon Fabulash Halo Extensions. I obviously can't wear these because they're blonde and I already have long hair, but you guys can, can you guys believe that I found Halo Extensions at Dollar Tree? I only found it at one store and in one color, but I was like, oh my goodness, I was shocked by this. So maybe this will start popping up more, but it was kind of like a unicorn find. This is another favorite, the Wet n Wild Lip Scrubber. It's a double-sided lip scrubber. They have a black handle and they also have 
it in a white handle but this is great for getting any like dead skin off your lips or just making them smooth i also love these soak off nail caps for taking off gel nail polish or even glitter nail polish you could put on a cotton pad filled with acetone put on foil and then put these on top and it just helps the nail polish come off a lot quicker so hope you guys can find these i know these are also probably a little bit more hard to find the these cat mats i think are absolutely adorable for your cat's water bowl or their food bowl i was excited about those scrunchies okay dollar tree just really killed the scrunchie game last year now this year they had all these super trendy 90s velvet scrunchies in so many colors and i love it i have so many scrunchies from dollar tree these are like little pedicure flip flops they had a couple shades Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. This is definitely like a thicker concealer formula. Maybelline Lasting Drama Pencil. I found this at literally every single Dollar Tree I went to. They had this pencil. It's a eyeliner. I always thought it was a lip pencil, but it is actually just like a maroon kind of eyeliner color. Bolero came out with new skincare. They always like release new stuff, which is really cool. They have these like mists. They have shimmer in them, so I'm not like the craziest fan of those. I like their regular mists with no glitter in them. And each line is different. So like this one had vitamin C and each had four different products. So like a face mask. This is the uh, glittery setting mist or like you can use it as a primer mist if you want to. This one was like a uh what was this one papaya it's a little hard to see here <laughs> i have a really small screen so yeah that's papaya and i just want you guys know oh this is rose hip and vitamin a so if you guys are interested in these bolero has some really good skincare and then we have a footloose puzzle from blockbuster oh my gosh blockbuster it's like my childhood right there i miss going to blockbuster sometimes that was like Friday night, you're going with your family to pick out a movie, and the one you wanted was sold out. <laughs> and that one is a Flash Dance puzzle, which I have to watch Flash Dance. Okay, Cat Kisses Fix Everything Magnet. Like, how perfect for us cat moms. They have the cutest little magnets at Dollar Tree. That one says home, that one says pet friendly. So cute with the little paw. And just so you guys know, these trips and these clips that rhymed to dollar tree this is not one store this is multiple stores multiple trips sometimes i will go to dollar tree and i will find absolutely nothing but i just paste all these clips together and it's like one giant shopping trip but this is me going to tons of different stores there's a lot of dollar trees where i live we have like 40 dollar trees so i just rotate all of them and film anything cute that i find sometimes i'll go to like three of them and i'll only film like two to three clips because I didn't really find that much so it's all about just being kind of consistent with your trips and going each week and seeing what's new a lot of like good stuff sells out really quickly say like that cuticle oil I found a couple months ago that went in like a day so just make sure you're going a lot and obviously you need to have like a lot of different stores but most people have like a decent amount of dollar trees I'd say these are really cute LED lights, like fairy lights. And then I found some really cool books. I always enjoy the autobiographies. So this was one by Bobby Bones, who is the mentor on American Idol. He's also a radio host. I'm sure you guys know who he is. But that was really cool. It's called Bare Bones. And then I keep finding this book by William Shatner. It's The Spirit of the Horse. And I just thought that was pretty cool. I like showing you guys the autobiographies because there's always like a lot of fiction books, but you probably know the whoever's in the autobiography when I show it. Peds. Okay, peds are awesome. I did pick up a pair of these and they also had these adorable lace socks. You can see like a little bit of lace peeking through if you're wearing like flat shoes or whatever. So I just thought those were really cute. Okay, we have tons of new masks from Spa Life. This brand is coming in hot at Dollar Tree. They, I don't know where they popped out from, but they have so many masks. So this is like a coffee one. I did buy these. They don't really smell like coffee, which I was kind of sad about. I wanted it to smell like coffee, but they are really nice. And then they have these pore cleaning bubble masks. These are like the kind that like tickle your face when you wear them. So I'm not like crazy about bubble masks just because, I don't know, they're fun, but they're not my absolute favorite. And then we have these Forever Luminous Goat's Milk and Olive Oil Masks, which 
goat milk I've just been researching lately is really good for your body and olive oil, extra virgin olive oil as well. So I thought that was really cool. This one um, was interesting. It was bee venom, shea butter, and manuka honey. They also had these Broadway sheet masks. This is by the same people who make Kiss products, Kiss Nails. Tons of stuff from Global Beauty Care. We have their hyaluronic acid mask. I feel like a lot of people are like, they either like this brand or they don't like this brand. So they also had this multivitamin spa treatment mask. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite uh, skincare product you've picked up recently from Dollar Tree, like name brand? Do you like the spa life? Do you like Global Beauty Care? Flower Beauty, I feel like is kind of, there's not as much Flower Beauty stuff right now. I feel like hard candy's taken over. But man, I miss those Flower Beauty finds. <laughs> Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. This is in a deeper shade. I thought this was an awesome find. Name brand, of course. Shout out to Dream Lumi. I found tons of the Pepper Charm Swirl Breads. These are so good. I used to eat these every day. I haven't had mine in a while, but I still love them. The French Toast is one of my favorites. And the Raisin Cinnamon. And then we have these little sesame topped hamburger buns great for bbqs these are like little potato buns and then we had this rye pumpernickel deli swirl bread okay the meat chopper you guys this is the best you need to get this it is so good i can testify to it pick up the meat chopper i can't believe they have this now but it works so well this roller cutter from crafter square i thought was an amazing deal if you love crafting and you can use this to cut so many things like you can use it for paper you can use it for wrapping paper any sort of craft you can cut shirts with it so I definitely picked this up because I thought it could be versatile you can even use this for like doing a distressed denim which maybe I'll make a video on they had tons of new cups at this one dollar tree I went to I have to go back to this one because it was really really good they had these like cups in different colors which I had never seen before I only had previously found clear so I just wanted to show you guys all the different cups that they had. This was a unicorn find and I found it twice so far. The soda can storage for your fridge. You can also use this for like pallets if you want to. It's not just for soda cans, but this is one of the best finds ever. I love this thing. It's just great for any sort of fridge storage, but it's hard to find, unfortunately. And you guys know how much I love the gold baskets. I just think they are so cute and you can use them for so many different purposes. And then these little guys I think are really fun for makeup. They also had this rapid mac and cheese cooker. This water bottle is so cute. It's like a oil spill kind of design, but this is great if you're trying to drink more water this year. I also found this name brand Lipel by Sylvania. This retails for, I think, like $6 at Home Depot. I did look it up. It's just like this giant bulb. I didn't, wouldn't have anywhere to put it in my house, but they also had the fake security camera. I think I showed this to you guys maybe in a previous video. I can't remember, but this is basically to like fake people out and pretend that you have a security camera some people messaged me and said that it actually does work then i found these awesome cups i only found these ones as well the fruit infused tumbler so you put fruit inside that center part and then fill it with water and or cucumbers whatever and you have fruit water so fun i love those and then they had these little cups as well and then more of those different colored clear cups these would be great if you have a cricut or a silhouette like I have a silhouette mini if you want to um, customize these for friends or gifts or family or whatever and I just thought these were so fun different colors like this pink one and I actually wish I would have picked up some of these to customize um, I love the fuzzy scrunchies from Dollar Tree these are super cute I wear mine all the time another name brand find I found this Q-Tex deodorizing foot cream there was only one but it's like a peppermint foot cream I found more Bolero stuff. This is their deep cleanse and detox shampoo and conditioner. If you're looking for an affordable shampoo and conditioner, they also had the matching shampoo. And then these men's face and body wipes. These are like comparable to dude wipes. So I thought that was pretty cool that they were kind of like trying to dupe something at the drugstore. some fun chocolate finds these are new chocolate chun chunks from the Sacco pantry and i really like these for when i make chocolate chip cookies they also had these semi-sweet chocolate baking chips which were also a newer find so in case you are making some chocolate chip cookies 
pick these up. These are new too, these little Lunchable cookie dungs. I thought these were pretty fun. So they have like three little compartments. And then this one was a dirt cake one. <laughs> they had like little worms. This reminds me of something I would bring to like elementary school. And then they had these four packs of fruit roll-ups, which again was like tugging on my nostalgia. It reminds me of childhood. Okay, they had more cool books. This one is from Allie Raisman. She is a Olympic gymnast. And I thought that was really fun. I love those books. And then I found more Spa Life masks. This is the Hibiscus face masks or sheet masks. So definitely check these out. These are all K-Beauty. Really cute headbands. This one had like a fun little chain print. I love the knotted style. These are great. I've done a bunch of videos with these, the Broadway Cream Contour Kit. So if you're looking for an affordable cream contour kit, I recommend these. They work really well. Again, this is the same brand who makes Kiss Nails, in case you guys were wondering. They actually are <laughs> from the same like area that I'm from. Um, this is the powder version of that. I have both of these, and they're great. And then this is the Contour Artist Cream. This is just a different shade. So they have like a lighter one, and then they have a deeper one. Dollar Tree is a little late to the game on the Silly Sponge trend. I think this is from like two years ago, but these had glitter on them. And then some cute fake nails if you guys wear fake nails. This one was like a leopard and stripey print. And then this one was my favorite. These reminded me of Lisa Frank. How cute are those? I don't wear fake nails, but if you do, those are so fun. One of my favorite finds, new favorite finds, are the new Sassy and Chic Eyebrow Razors. These are so, so good. You guys, I have a video coming up on this, but I love these and they are, work amazing if you like dermaplaning your face and getting rid of peach fuzz and dead skin and the blade is so nice and long. Oh, I was so happy they came out with those. Eco Tools mask remover sponges and I'm talking about a face mask, like a clay one, <laughs> not the regular face mask that we've all been wearing. Some cute fairy garden figurines. They had a lot of these come out for spring. So if this is your thing, they have some cute stuff. And then they had these cute little houses. One day I'll have a garden and I will make a fairy garden. <laughs> they had this like little camper. I loved this truck. How cute is that? Some St. Patrick's Day stuff. If you guys are interested, I did love all the socks they came out with, especially the cat one. And then they had these little bear ones like I couldn't handle with the little ears. Really, really cute socks this year. I love Dollar Tree socks. Little unicorn, cactus, and then this one was really fun with the shamrocks and the heart prints. Some cute new lids for mason jars. So you can put this on top of a mason jar. They have those at Dollar Tree too. And it just makes it into like a really cute luminary. Or you can put like a little faux tea light in there. I have one of these hanging up. And then they had this fashion tape from Sassy and Chic. Which I thought was really cool. Again, very hard to find these. But they also had these bra converting clips. So you can convert your bra into a racer back. If you're wearing a racer back style tank top. These are really fun, like ombre artificial nail colors, and I just thought those were really cool. These new Aveeno purely matte peel-off masks. I know some people don't work well with peel-off masks, so kind of like use at your own risk, but I'm just here to show you guys all the new stuff that's at Dollar Tree. These mask bar peel-off masks. This is another name brand. I thought these clips were really fun because when they're all together, they form like a little paisley pattern and they reminded me of like Vera Bradley. This was like a unicorn find. I feel like I keep saying that, but like this is something I had been looking for for months. This glass writing pen. So cool. And then this lips book from, I don't know who wrote it. But I'll show you guys some of the inside pages. It's actually really cool. And I was excited that I found this at Dollar Tree. They also had this brightening body serum. This is a watermelon and mint body serum. And this is also a name brand find. Then I found these super cute little cactus jewelry holders. You can hang like rings. You can hang bracelets, necklaces. So those were really fun some 
scented hand soaps. I know hand soap has been a big thing. So we have a co uh, cashmere vanilla one and the other one was like a cranberry. And I really like the foamy hand soaps. This is another very popular find recently. These like graph paper style bins. I feel like everyone's been looking for these. I found the black and I only found the black so far, but there's also a white one. So a lot of people have been using these um, for like storage and stuff like that. They also had some new yarn. Um, so if you like knitting, they have tons of fun patterns and colors. And I feel like they're getting more yarn. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, they like have a whole section now just for yarn. Some more Global Beauty Care finds. We have a lip mask and an under eye retinol mask. Everyone loved when I posted these on my Instagram. They're these face mask lanyard extensions. So you can like put your face mask on this little chain and then it just kind of hangs down when you're out and about. So I thought this was really cool. I found another one that had pearls on it. I don't know if it's in this video, but these are so cute make it fashionable right and they had tons of cute face masks I did pick up that heart one they also had this like little butterfly one most of my masks are from Dollar Tree and then this is like a polka dot one I just thought these were like really girly fun prints they also had this glass writer pen which is again really hard to find I only found this once so if you're a crafty girl these are great maybe you want to do designs for like your bachelorette gifts or something on glass cups to personalize this would be really cute one store i went to had so many of the faux like perfumes so this is a dupe for fantasy by britney spears and i had never seen this one i had been looking for it this one is a dupe for princess by vera wang and a lot of people say they use these for like a bathroom spray or in their car if you don't want to spray it on yourself. This is Joy by Christian Dior Dupe. This is a dupe for, let's see, Carolina Herrera by Carolina Herrera. And then this one is a flower bomb by Victor and Rolf Dupe. And then we have this uh, Dream Angels Heavenly Dupe from Victoria's Secret. And then Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. They're calling it Miss Fabulous. I actually own that one. It's really good. They have these new cross stitch kits. This one is a butterfly, so you can actually do like the cross stitch. I thought that was really neat. That one says choose joy. And then this one says love. And this one is like a little heart with wings and a halo. I thought that was really cute. And then these are just like individual cross stitch kits where you can make any of those letters shown on the packaging. So there's two different kinds, one for the first part of the alphabet and then the second one for the second part of the alphabet. Woo, I'm talking a lot. I found these jewelry bead holders. And at first I was like, what is that? But then I was like, oh, that's cool. Like you can make your bracelets and stuff in order. And then these are new as well. They had these like um, little iron on transfers so you can put them on t-shirts. And I thought that was so fun. So they had a bunch of different prints to choose from. And then they had these laser cut craft words, which were also really cool. The craft aisle um, definitely had a lot of new stuff. So if you are into crafts, check out the Crafter Square. These LED string lights I thought were really fun because they had like little leaves on them. Another book gem, I found Cameron Diaz's longevity book. So it's basically like how to age gracefully and I was pretty shocked to find this there were like a lot of cool health books this day and again if you find a book that you like grab it because I guarantee you it will not be there the next time <laughs> you go back especially something like this this was so cool I found this huge Kennedy family album and this thing was heavy you guys it was even hard for me to pick up um this is like a $45 book and it was completely sealed and I just thought that was so cool and then I also found a book by the girls from Tone It Up and again I thought that was awesome um I'm sure that one is gone by now I should have picked that one up but they have like all the supplements and protein powders at Target and then this was a book by the Bush sisters sisters first okay this is some more hard candy stuff I found two pencils you guys will see I tried out the pearl one um, but I didn't like it. I think that was in my Valentine's Day video. It didn't have good pigmentation. 
I found this felt tip eyeliner. My sister actually tried this and she told me she didn't like it. So just forewarning, maybe don't pick this up. I, here is a hard candy highlighter find. This is the Just Glow Glow Dome. This is in the bronzy shade. There's also another shade, like a rose gold. Here is a name brand kitchen find. This is a Kitchen Genie Egg Slicer. So it's not Dollar Tree brand. And I thought this was so cool. Um, I'm like a huge hard boiled egg fan. So I definitely picked this up. L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. I have not tried this one yet um, because I have so many backups of the Garnier one, which I love, but I definitely want to test this one out. Let me know if you guys have tried this one yet. Dry shampoo is just like such a staple in my life and my hair routine because um, I don't wash my hair that much and I do shower though with shower cap in between. I'm not gross, just so you guys know. Um, this pencil from Hard Candy has not the best reviews. You guys know, always know I like to keep it honest with you and even if it's just a dollar to not waste your dollar. So maybe just skip on that one. And then here is another hard candy find. This is like a coal on one side and then a chunky felt tip on the other side. So not everything is going to be good. Some stuff is good. That's why I like to test everything for you. So you know what's good and what's not good. And this L'Oreal True Match um, mineral blend. You guys, this is like an old school product. I don't know like how old this is, but I mean, obviously they're like all sealed. Um, and this just like took me back to simple times. And then we have the OK Beauty Illuminating Serum. This goes for like $15 currently on the Ulta website. So this was a crazy good find. Um, this probably got snatched up real quick. Um, it does have niacinamide, which is works for most people and works well to like shrink pores. I can't use it, but hopefully you guys can find that one. And then this is another name brand, Sunday Rain watermelon mint body lotion which sounds really nice especially for something lightweight i know i like things to be on uh, my lotions to be more lightweight because i don't like to feel it on the skin this was so cute from the craft section these galvanized letters and these are just fun for making your own little crafts and then they had numbers as well which is really cute very like farmhouse-esque and then they also had these metal tags so I really like these. It reminded me of something you'd find at like Michael's. And then more new craft stuff. They had these fun glass stickers. So I feel like this is great if you don't have a cutting machine because this is like a way to kind of get little designs and be creative without having to buy a cutting machine if you don't want one. Um, and then they also had like these bigger mason jar stickers. So you can decorate mason jars. And then these were ceramic stickers. So you can pick up one of the mugs from Dollar Tree and put these on for like little fun designs. And they had a couple different ones to choose from. Another Sunday rain find. This is a body mask. It was like a charcoal body mask. Me and Nick love this exfoliating soap bar, coffee and vanilla. We already went through one of them. I have to pick up another. It smells so good. More K-Beauty sheet mask finds. This is a cucumber sheet mask. I'm so glad that they're getting more like variety of stuff in. And this is by a brand called Jinju. Shout out to my sister-in-law who's living in South Korea right now. She is living in the K-Beauty land. And then this is a firming caffeine body mask so cool and then we have these fun thick hair bands these are like those kind of stocking feel and i love these especially if you have thick hair these are going to be your best friends so they have two co color options this is like a more fall color palette and then this is more of like a baby blue color palette okay more wet and wild finds i told you guys it was crazy i love these highlighters I'm obsessed with this one. So this is the um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and you can really amp these up and like add it to an oil or a setting spray. And this is the pink one in You Glow Girl. And then this is Hustle and Glow, which is more of a gold color. And one of my followers told me she adds like it to a body oil and puts it all over her body. So I was so excited about those. And then I found these old school H2O proof wet and wild eyeliners in the shade Smoky. So you can even tell just like by the packaging what is like an older wet and wild product. And then of course the cushion foundations. I'm still finding these a ton. 
such a great medium coverage foundation. The Hard Candy Just Glow Dome in Rose Gold. This is the one that I was looking for. So I feel like this formula probably will need a little bit of setting spray to get it going. But I will try that in my next tutorial. And then this was such a cool find. The Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. I love these. And they are only $1.98. But still, now you can get them at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. So I only found a couple shades so far. Um, more Wet n Wild. This is the Liquid Katsu. Do you guys remember when these came out? These are great because we are all looking for matte lipsticks right now for wearing under masks. I also found this old school, oh, I'm running out of breath, you guys, Wet n Wild Glitter Lip Gloss. Wet n Wild Concealer Makeup Stick. I actually did own this. I think I just decluttered this um, because it wasn't like my favorite, but they have a couple different ones. They have a contour one. They have a highlighter stick. Okay, Sally Hansen nail polishes are now at Dollar Tree. They're in these little like containers if you can find them. So this is their Miracle Gel, but it's not like an actual cure gel that you need a lamp for. They're just regular nail polish with, with a gel look finish. So they had really pretty colors. Um, I loved this blue shade. This is like one of my all-time favorite nail colors still to this day. So hopefully you guys can find these. And of course, mint is always like such a classic color. That was called Prince Charmant. And then here are some more colors that I found. So these retail for like six bucks. So this is a crazy find. And then in the uh, like plant craft section, I found these name brand eucalyptus wreaths. And Dollar Tree also has these really cute succulents. This is a name brand as well. And they're like very kind of heavy and just nice feeling. So you can make a cute little succulent garden. I found some Axe soaps. This is the Dark Temptation Face and Body Soap in the dark chocolate scent. I also found Old Spice Bars of Soap. More Wet n Wild. I found two of their five pan eyeshadow palettes. This is the older formula, which I love. I picked up the purple one because I just couldn't resist. <laughs> so... Those are really cute. And then this is one of my favorite finds, the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Reserve Your Cabana. This is classic. I've been using this to set under my eyes. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. So pick this up if you find it. I got like three backups of this. More of the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. And this was like a really pretty kind of your lips but better shade. Here's another throwback, this glassy gloss. Who remembers these? Okay, this is like reminding me of middle school and high school. And then I found the glassy gloss except in like a glittery version. So we have like two different pink shades. Some of these were a little sticky, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And then this is more of a like metallic finish. I did pick this one up to try in a tutorial. So let me know if you guys found these. They have a new shade of their pearl headband. So they have this pink one and they also have this fuzzy pearl one. So I didn't get the fuzzy one because the underneath part looked like it was really tight. Um, you can kind of see the bottom of it there, but it was really cute. If it had a different band, I would have wore it or bought it. And then they also had these like holographic pink scrunchies, which were just so fun. And some pearl little bows that'd be cute for like a little girl and then these pearl clips were really cute they have like um they're more like a taller clip but they had pink and they had this white pearl and then some fun bows and this is it you guys this is the end of my huge shop with me I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super long, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing everything I found over the past couple of months. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.